After all, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we began our quest to retrieve Miran's Razor, traveled across half of freaking Cyrodo in the process, found some really cool stuff, and we have arrived. And now we have to travel all the way through this area, take out a gazillion freaking men, and hopefully get rich in the process, because we are going to get a whole bunch of booty here. Now, again, if we didn't have the Midas Magic Chest, we'd literally, if we wanted to loot all of it, have to fill up our inventory, come back out, go in and out, in and out repeatedly. It would take forever, so that's why I don't feel like the chest is cheating, because all it really does is save you time, which is kind of unnecessary in the first place, so... Yeah, I'm guessing we are going to be... Get the hell away from me, you son of a bitch. I'm guessing we are going to be using the chest a whole bunch here. That guy is peppered full of arrows. How is he still alive? And why is this dude wearing a Daedric helmet? I'm go oh, God. I'm guessing that's like a bound helmet or something he summoned, otherwise we could loot that from him, and that would be extremely handy, but... Pretty damn sure they can't even generate at this level, so... Yeah, and this guy... He's kicking the I shit out of me. Save me, maid. Yep, you're not saving me. If I can just hold him off for long enough. And yes, by the way, we do need to level up, but uh, I'm hoping we can find a better on here somewhere to do it. We'll see. Either way, I don't think it really matters. Finally, I don't think it really matters how long you take. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Don't really know. Right, what have you got? I'm going to a whole bunch of booty. See, this is what I'm saying. A whole bunch of steel and iron armor and all kinds of crap like that we're going to get here. And we're already over encumbered. Well, fantastic. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm going to be summoning this Midas Magic Chest, the whole friggin' bunch, so just assume if I get over encumbered and there's a random cut, that's because I'm just banking stuff, because there's no point in me telling you every single time, otherwise it would just get extremely, extremely annoying, because, uh, yeah, like I say, I assume we're going to be needing that whole freaking lot, because I remember this place very, very well. There was a lot of enemies here, and like I say, that should equal a whole bunch of booty, which is extremely handy, plus... We're going to get Mayra's Razor when we're done here, which is a really, really good freaking dagger. I see you down there, buddy. Come here. Save me, Maid. Maid? Well, never mind. Maybe I can take him away. Never mind, then. Aha! I got the kill. What have you got? Absolutely bugger all. Well, I'll take the arrows. Not really going to worry about the iron bows, because that one of those things that weighs way... Hey, we got a potion. Nice. That one of those things that weighs way too much, in my opinion, considering how little they're worth. I mean... Having said that, I'm sure I'll loot some at some point and make myself a hypocrite, but in the meantime, we're just gonna ignore the damn things. Mostly, I just want the armor, because even though armor's heavy, it kind of makes up for it in terms of, you know, how much it's actually worth. And again, we need money. We really do. Okay, this ghost is really getting in my way, as is the maid. I think I hit him. Yes, I did. You know what? I'm gonna claim that kill for myself. It was probably the maid, but I'm claiming... <laughs> I love the fact that the guy's just completely pincushioned. Yeah, we'll take the armor as well. It's not worth very much, but we'll ignore the boots. Okay, now like I say, I believe this is kind of like an underground village or something like that. It's a really cool looking area and it's bloody gigantic, so we are probably going to be spending at least a couple of episodes in here, so get used to it. Did I just one-shot that guy? That was freaking badass. Okay, I'm okay with that. Anyway, so yeah, we're probably going to spend at least a couple of episodes in here, but we are hopefully in the process going to get a whole bunch of booty so we can make some money, plus some much-needed level ups, because if we can get to level 10 here, which very well may happen, or at least close to it... You know, that will guarantee that we can start getting some new drops, which we're going to need. I'm hoping we can get some other gear here that's going to be better than what we have. I would think so, but it kind of remains to be seen. Back. Back, I say, fickle wench. Maid? What the hell are you doing? She's just swinging the stick. What the hell are you doing? Holy shit. Your AI is awful. It's just awful. How are you still alive? And now she's blocking. Aha! Ambushed by the maid. Good work. It's like Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. Again. Everything is like Jurassic Park Velociraptors. <laughs> Hey, what the hell? You have wine? You drunkie. Okay, once again, bank and shit. I can just imagine by the time we're done here, how freaking long it's going to take me to sell everything that we've acquired, but you know it should be worth it. I mean, if we end up making like two grand after all this, I'm going to be very disappointed, but hopefully we get some enchanted gear here and there. I mean, it should happen, but it's all kind of random, so not much I can do about that. But yeah, we need money, we need levels. It's something to do in the meantime whilst we wait for the next Thieves Guild mission, so it seems like a good idea that we do this quest. Plus, like I said, it's a really cool area down here, and Mayron's Razor is extremely friggin' handy, so we should be killing a whole bunch of birds with one stone. And this, I believe, is the main section of the village. I mean, it's it's kind of like a village. It's kind of hard to explain, but, uh, yeah, not really cool. At least I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure what the hell these people are, but, yeah, there's some good shit down here. I see you there, buddy. Stand still. Now die. Did, did I just one-shot him? Holy shit, this bow is better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, it's kind of foggy in here. I there, I know the yeah, there's another dude over there. I guess we'll go for him. Can I hit him from here, though? Yes, yes, I can. Fantastic. Oh, you have a lot more HP than your buddy, though, don't you? And now everyone's going to aggro on us. 
Well, shit, I get the feeling we're gonna be in for a giant rumble here. Luckily, oh shit! You scared the crap out of me! To <laughs> he shot me! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Well, fine, we'll go fisticuffs. God, God damn it, man, the maid. She's a goddamn liability. Hey, the broken bindings wore off. Now you can die. Maybe. Oh, damn it, I'm at stand still! I'm trying to hit you with my magic so I can level up. You inconsiderate bastard. Like, what the hell? Man, she just freaking yeah. ran laps around that guy. Luckily, this dude's considerate and brought a torch with him, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see a goddamn thing. And I swear these dudes look exactly the same. Holy shit, you're quick. And I just shot the maid again. I swear I'm being beaten up by twins here. Okay, this one's. Like, look, they just keep coming. <laughs> that guy got shot for miles. Okay, dude, why have you got helmets? Nobody wears helmets in this game. You look silly. You look silly. And you keep blocking me, you dick. And I'm kind of low on HP, so it's just back on shoot spells. Not that we have any more magic power. And I'm being beaten up by an archer as well. And I don't know where all the mates fighting over there. Well, at least she's doing. Look! There's so many people! Holy shit! I <laughs> died! Okay, well, we're out of health potions already, so. That's a thing. At least we have some sorcery ones so we can actually spam our healing spell. Not that it's gonna do very much, because I switched to using the crappy one just simply because it'll get us more levels, because. It's kind of annoying the way it works in the Elder Scrolls games. I think it's the same in Skyrim. I just shot her again. I think it's the same in Skyrim because, for example, if you want to level up your restoration, you cast restoration spells, right? However, I don't think it matters which one you use. I think it just matters how many times you cast it. Like, you don't get more EXP, for example, for using a high level spell. So, if we want to level up restoration, it's better that we just spam the crappy one than just cast the good one once or twice. So, it's kind of annoying, but it works out better in the future. Okay, well, now that humongous freaking rumble is over, I'm gonna loot all of these guys, and it's probably gonna take quite some time, so give me a moment here. Okay, banked everything and repaired all our gear, and I also found an iron crossbow on one of the dead guys. This is another mod I installed recently called, uh, I think it's just called Crossbows of Cyrodiil. Again, I'll link the uh, name in the video description, but I'm pretty damn sure that's what it's called, so. Yeah, okay, the animations are a little bit janky. Well, he's dead. Suck on that. So yeah, now they can randomly have crossbows, which is kind of cool. Gotta say, not really a huge fan of the uh, the sound of the crossbow. I mean, it's a lot better in Skyrim, but... Again, you gotta remember, the ones in Skyrim are made by Bethesda, and this is just a mod, so... Yeah, but yeah, personally, the sound effects... It doesn't really sound all that powerful like you're actually shooting a crossbow. It sounds to me like they use the, the default bow sound, which isn't really right for a crossbow, but still. It's a cool weapon either way. And powerful, apparently. Okay, let's check out the jail. If I remember correctly, I believe there's a Morag Tong assassin in here, and I think he's the only one in the entire game. Yeah, there he is. I believe they came originally from Morrowind. I remember them in the Dragonborn DLC for Skyrim, but I don't really know any lore about them, but I think they're some kind of assassins. Vilness, keep searching the cell for the written that assassin carries. The patrolman has searched the tunnels in hopes that he dumped it when he was found out, but he may carry it on his person yet. If that's the case, I shall think where it's hidden. Try sneaking in there while I was asleep and search the cell. And by Nerevar, get to work building that second cell. I don't want to execute that assassin until we find out what he came for, and Fardova needs some place to lock up the workers when they get out of line. Commander and Dretli. Random ass name. Okay, so a bit of lore on the Morik Tongue Assassin. Apparently he's got something- Hey, we got a bedroll so we can level up. Nice. So apparently he's got something they want, so he's being kept until they find it. Either way, right, now, we are gonna get intelligence, willpower, and strength, because we need all of the goddamn magic power we can get, plus strength is one of the things I get pretty much all the time, because it also increases your carry weight, which as you can see, is extremely freaking handy. And we get okay, now, what you can do is you can bust him out of the cell, he'll just sneak out, he doesn't attack you, but I don't think he's got any dialogue or anything, I don't think it's any point letting him go, so what I usually do is murder him horribly, so that's probably exactly what we're gonna do. Hey, buddy! How you doing? Well met. <laughs> Right, now, we can't speak to him as you can see, but I don't think, yeah, he's not got anything to say. Just the profit thing that everybody's got, so... I'm afraid, buddy, you're gonna have to die. Let's go for a sneak attack, just in case. Didn't do a damn thing. Well, whatever. Kill him, maid. I, I said kill him. I, I can't see the guy. What the hell is he? Oh, there we go, got him. Die. This'll teach you to have armor out one on my watch. <laughs> what the hell, where'd he go? There. You invisible bastard! Hey! We got a level up as well, nice! Apparently we can now do power attacks! I remember these, you kind of spin around with your sword and look kind of silly, but uh... Oh shit! God damn it mate, stop bringing your kick the crap out of me! Holy hell, the guy was already dead, you are such a liability! 
Anyway, you can spin around and you look kind of silly, and you do power attacks, and you can, I believe, occasionally knock weapons out of their hands. That might be yeah. another perk, I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, I think it's this yeah. one. I wasn't really reading it that well, but yeah. And screw you! Anyway, now, yeah. <laughs> I believe, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's kind of silly, but I like it. And then we go, we get the Morik Tung armor, which is kind of beating the crap out of, because, you know, we kind of had to do that to pry it from his cold, dead fingers. But whatever. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually repair and chart gear because we don't have the perk yet because you need, I think, 50 armor. It might be 75, not entirely sure, but... Yeah, so it's probably not going to last us that long, but we can always fix it later when we actually get the right level. But in the meantime, we're going to wear that shit. Now, it doesn't look that cool. It looks kind of like just leather, leather armor, but... You know, the perks it's got on it are really good, so we are going with that. The aforementioned personage has been marked for honorable execution in accordance to the lawful tradition and practice of the Morik Tong Guild. The bearer of this non-disputable document has official sanctioned license to kill the aforementioned personage. In other words, he is James freaking Bond. He's got a license to kill. And to die, apparently, because he did, and we're wearing his armor. Right, so yeah, like I say, I don't really know anything about the Morik Tong assassins, except that they were in Morrowind and they're in the Dragon Ball DLC, so obviously they come from that section of, uh... Tamriel, and they're clearly assassins, but beyond that, I have no friggin' idea. I'm sure there's some kind of weird cupboards around here somewhere that you can loot booty from, but... I, I guess maybe not, because I don't see any, but I could have sworn there was some around here. There's a random store. Okay, well, what's this? The barracks, apparently. Okay, let's go in here. Hey, free booty, what's in the box? Healing potions, extremely handy. Okay, so there's a downstairs and an upstairs, apparently. Now, I'm guessing there's going to be someone in the barracks, because I seem to remember you need uh, two items. I don't remember what you need them for, but I've got a strange feeling. Each one of them's guarded by kind of like a boss or a mini-boss, whatever way you want to call it. And I'm sure one of them's in the barracks, so I've got a strange feeling there's going to be some kind of commander in here somewhere that's going to be protecting that, but... Yeah, I don't remember exactly what the hell it is or what we're looking for, but I think it's some kind of weird little thing that we pick up, and we need those, so... Yeah, we're looking for weird little things, and like I said, I'm pretty sure one of them's in the barracks, but again, I could be completely mistaken about that, because it's been years since I did this. Oh, we can't get up there. Well, I guess I'm wrong about that then, unless we missed it somewhere, but I don't think we did, so... Maybe it's a different set of barracks, or somewhere else entirely, no idea. That could be here I'm thinking of, like I said, I just remember some kind of commander dude that was protecting something that we need. Fantastic. Well, there's dudes in here. Thanks for asking. The Heartlands and Nibonian Valley are the agricultural breadbaskets of Cyrodiil. Well, this is a delightful you conversation know. that you're having, you but didn't. I'm afraid you're gonna have to die. Oh, shit. Why did you have to turn around? And I missed him completely. Oh, man, this crossbow is janky as hell. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but... I, I don't know what's going on with the animation. It's very confusing to my brain. I cannot tell if I'm actually shooting down. Hey, the up again! Nice, that was extremely freaking quick. I mean, I guess we did get a... Well, actually, it wasn't that quick, was it really? I mean, we had one ready when we came in here, but... You know, we got the second one pretty quick. First one, not so much. I, I can't see anything. There's purple everywhere. Plus, you know, I'm like one hit from death. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. Well, there goes our healing potions again. I, I seriously can't see anything. I think the uh, detect life thing is from the Morik Tong gear. I mean, I don't think there's anything else that could be doing that. Maybe the maid cast it on us. I wasn't really looking at the description of what it does, but yeah, I think the Morik Tong gear does that, which is kind of annoying. And hey, we got a crossbow upgrade. Nice. As janky as it is, more damage. All right, give me all that stuff. Now yeah, you can keep the torch. Torch sucks. I'll take that, though. Haha. Uh -huh. Right, now. Did we take out three dudes? We took out definitely two. Did we take out the dude at the top, or did he somehow not hear that? Because that might be the commander guy that I'm thinking of. I don't think whoever it is is actually carrying it on their person, because I just seem to remember them being near what we need to pick up. And again, I can't actually remember exactly what it is we need to pick up. But I just remember something. Oh my god, so much loot. Hey, we got some more health potions. Extremely handy. What's in the drawers? Nothing as per usual. Should have probably expected that. Okay, I think we've looted everything down here. Let's go. Yeah, we did kill three people. Okay. Well, someone trashed this place. <laughs> okay, I'll take a radish. Right, now what's in here? Some gold, nothing interesting. Again, I'm pretty sure what we need is going to be around here somewhere. If not in this place, then one of them. Damn it, I was hoping there'd be a school book. Well, let's grab bust in here. In fact, wait a second. We have a spell for this. Yeah, I actually remembered. Where the hell are you? There you are. Okay, Alakaz... Alaka- God damn <laughs> I missed, and now I don't have enough magic power. God damn it, brain. 
There we go. Okay, now, was it worth it? No! No, it wasn't. Well, whatever, free booty. Right, yeah, looks like this is not the place we're looking for. I mean, I could check the journal, but screw that. Oh, we're only level 7. Well, I guess we're not going to get to 10 in here, but... You know, well, <laughs> at least we're leveling up, because it's been a long time. That's the one thing about Thieves Girl, as cool as it is, you don't really ever do combat, and when you do, it's few and far between, so... It's really not good for leveling up your character, so if you do it at the beginning of the game like I have, you stay low level for a very long time, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you want more booty, it kind of is. Right, we definitely went into the barracks. Now, I don't think we've been over... Ah, oh, these are the things I was thinking of. What do we get? Not that bad. See, now, I'm sure there's more of those around here somewhere. I think we missed one up the top somewhere, but screw it, we'll check it out later. Canteen, apparently. Let's go kick Golden Ramsey's ass. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen, bitch. Okay, I see that guy there. Now, this time, I actually really equipped the uh, steel crossbow, but I'm lazy. Screw it, we got this one out now. Okay, we actually got a shot off that something. Go get him made. Yeah. I... <laughs> and I beat the crap out of her in the process. Wow. Are you gonna die to Thank you. You inconsiderate dick. Right, what have you got? You ain't got very much at all, have you? Yeah, no, you don't. Well, hey, we're gonna charge you. Nice. I think it might be our first one. Now, here's the question. What does it actually do? Uh, light, apparently. And you know what? That could be handy, actually, because, you know, if we're in a situation where, well... I guess we're never really going to be in a situation where we don't have the torch, however, if we need the shield instead, at least it will give us some light. I don't know if it's going to be as good, probably not, but either way, we're using a claymore, so we're probably not going to use the shield very much, but still, it's something we can sell even if we don't use the damn thing. And we got another repair hammer, which is handy, because I've been busting a whole bunch of them repairing the shit that we've uh, stolen from the dead bodies, because you know, it's a good way to level up your uh, armory, which we need. Now again, I, yoink, I'm getting kind of concerned here that we're missing the item that we need, because again, I remember there's two of them, I know a blacksmith has one of them, or at least it's near a blacksmith, which is not in this section, at least I don't think so, but I know in one of these buildings, at least I'm almost positive, in one of these buildings there's something we need, and we haven't actually found it yet, and I swear we've been every goddamn building, we must have missed one somewhere, but I don't know what the hell it was. I have no, where the hell haven't we been? Do we go... Oh, okay. Well, screw up. We'll keep going. If we have to backtrack, then we have to backtrack. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure we missed something. At least I picked it up and didn't notice, but I don't think I did. I, I'm i blind. Is that a dude over there or is that a torch? I think it's a torch, but uh, it's pretty damn dark down here. Like I say, I'm kind of... Yeah, it's a, it's a torch. Holy shit. I'm blind as hell. Okay, so we can go that way as well. There's some gallows. Hey, it's a potions. Yoink. Uh, we could loot the iron. Uh, it's tempting, but I, I don't want to open the inventory, so... Screw that shit. These, on the other hand, may be better loot, but also I could probably come back and do that off screen, so we'll do that shit later. But yeah, I'm probably gonna loot those, but not right now. God damn it, the detect life is really freaking annoying on the me, because she just glows bright purple in front of my face and I can't see a damn thing. I hear a dude above me. Well, whatever, we'll take this guy in the meantime. Prepare to die, you son of a bitch. Ah! Okay, can we kill them before they get to me? No. No, we can't, because I'm gonna miss... Repeatedly. However, I did hear that guy, which is something. Ouch! Well, I did, like, no damage. I think I just shot the maid. Well, frankly, you deserved it. Okay, let's dance. Never mind now. I was gonna say let's dance, but no! The maid already took you out. Aha! Uh -huh. And she got some freaking damage in. Quickly, kill <laughs> you kill-stealing son of a bitch. Well, we got some more booty loot. I'm sure there's still a dude running around above me, and this is gonna over and come me, which is gonna be a really bad idea, because... It's not gonna let yeah, it's not gonna let me open the chest in combat, is it? No. Well shit. Buddy, if you could Screw it, we'll drop some shit for now. I can always come back and get that. It's so damn annoying managing your inventory in these games. Especially when you can't open the damn thing when there's enemies around. Wow, that went everywhere. That's extremely annoying. And I didn't mean to drop the crossbow, but oh shit! Okay, don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, that guy died quickly. Okay, looting time. Okay, the shot has been put away, and good lord, we've already accumulated a metric butt-ton of it, and I don't think we even will. I know we're not even remotely close to being done here, because we don't even have a single one of those things that we need, and I believe you need them to open some kind of a door, and then I think you go through another section, and eventually, hello buddy, you get to, uh, there's another guy above me, I see you up there. You get to the, the, uh, Mayron's Razor, so yeah, it's a giant freaking quest, but like I say, it's cool as hell, and we need to do some combat, so, it's necessary. 
Wow, nice dodge. That was freaking pro. Okay, if you could, if you could, if you could just die. Good lord, people in there freaking shit. Stop blocking me. Okay, now I'm getting. Oh shit, that guy's got a helmet on, which for some reason makes them way tougher. Okay, well she's down. Jesus Christ, this guy's kicking the crap out of me. Okay, do we actually have any healing? Well, we got some. We got one. Well, that might. Well, it should be enough for me to at least beat this guy, but we need some more now. So hopefully he'll. Do oh, no, 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 don't do that. Hopefully he'll drop some, but in the meantime, I'm gonna run around like a headless chicken. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Just, just give up the ghost and die. Like, holy shit. Maid, kill him. No, oh, you did. Thanks. Okay, now, are you the cat? I don't think he is. I think the guy we're looking for is actually called, like, the commander or the captain or something like that. And he's probably gonna therefore be a whole lot tougher than that guy, so I am not. Hey, we got something enchanted. Nice. That's worth a whole butt on, like, holy shit. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to taking that guy on, but hopefully we'll have some more healing potions by that point. Otherwise, frankly, I think we're fucked. Ah, apparently with some booty over here, that's kind of annoying, but you know, whatever, we'll take the dagger. I don't want to take the shield again, they're not really worth that much, considering how much they weigh, it'll probably over encumber me, so... Screw that shit! Right, we are still on... Maid, stop getting stuck in the damn walls. You better tell the boy out there. I think she has. Yes, yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah, so we are still on our quest to find the first damn thing that we need. Again, I think it's some kind of orb or something, don't really remember, but... Yes, taking this sweet freaking time, and I feel like we missed it in the first section, but I really hope we didn't. I know it's in a building somewhere. That's all I really remember, plus, you know, the, uh, the commander thing. It might be around here, because there's a bunch of buildings, apparently, so... Yeah, maybe we haven't missed it yet, because... I mean, we were pretty thorough, plus... I didn't see a commander, so... Yeah, hopefully... It's in one of these damn buildings, otherwise, I have no freaking clues. I don't think there's a map marker for them. Maybe there is, not entirely sure. We do have a map marker, though. But it's... Where the hell is it? I have no idea where it's pointing. Hey, the commander's quarters! Okay, so this has to be the guy we're looking for. So, let's wait around and get our freaking stats back, or HP, whatever you want to call it, because we are going to need it, because we have no potions. And that's probably him right there. Well, shit. Nice work, by the way. Very stylish. Okay, well, it looks like he's the only dude with at least that something. Now, maybe if we can ambush him, or at least, you know, let the mate take the brunt of the attack, we might stand a chance. Oh, yeah. Didn't see that coming, did ya? <laughs> Apparently he's half naked. That's actually probably a huge freaking. Oh, God, that ghost scared the crap out of me. It's probably a huge freaking advantage, because, you know, if he was armored to the nuts, it'd be a lot tougher to kill. So, even though he's a commander and he is kind of tough, yeah, he's down. Thank Christ for that. I should teabag you, but I'm not going to. I will take your armor, though. Yoink. Okay, now, here's the question. Is he indeed guarding what I think he's guarding? I don't see it, but it's probably in this building somewhere. I really hope I'm not wrong about this, because I, I... I swear to God, this is like the only damn thing I remember about this entire quest. I swear this guy is guarding one of the things we need. Yes, there it is. Perfect. I knew it. Alrighty, it seems like a good place to end it here. Next time we get the final one and continue our journey and find Mayrun's Razor. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. I'll like it. I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.